Uh, just to explain one of the examples where Poret is actually dwelling much in detail, that is the school program. This school has uh, started, um, yeah, four years ago. The children were actually under the tree, learning there, and then the two women mothers were teaching them. And then later on, after three years, as Poret, we thought that we need to create a shelter for these children because they are anyway um, learning. And we think that that can actually build up their capacity and benefits for the long run for the Chaseyama and then for capacity building for the community. Because we have seen that not so many children could pass from this region because of long distance. Someone would start school at nine years, for example, and then that person will have different ideas, different from learning as a, as a school kid. So introducing this kindergarten now will now catch them young to develop their minds and also on the permaculture setup we hope to produce very good leaders in future who will look after the environment and then really uh, think about the natural resources and the resource basis for the livelihoods of all the people. You know, these buildings of the kindergarten has been built in a special way, considering the climatic condition for this area, which is uh, Region 5. It's quite very, very hot. It can be really hot. So when you look up there, you see all these windows that are designed up there. They are actually designed to exchange the air so that the air can actually run up and down and have very nice ventilation for the children that will be inside there. And you can see the grass which has been uh, used to touch the, the, uh, the huts. It provides the right thickness for waterproof at the same time also for temperature. The temperature will be like stable. When outside here is very hot, the temperature there will be very good for uh, children to learn in there, even for sitting there. Uh, when you look very closely, you see that uh, all the material that has been used to build this house is kind of um, locally available. You, uh, it, all this material was found here in Chimani So the design of this uh, doom-shaped or round huts is coming from the Zulu uh, kind of construction, which is from the Southern Africa. And uh, when Anna Herringer was designing this one, was reminding us about our culture, which was quite unique and very special. And um, I mean, it carries a lot of value add value in our culture and a lot of appreciation and that has been proved by many people coming to see this uh, uh, building and uh, now and again we had to show people and it, it is very famous here. So we need to teach our children what we are finding as the challenge today and also to show them the future where we are going and uh, through that we build this facility which is a communicator and also training material which show and expose the children on the, this ecological systems that we are building up and also answering some of the problems that we are facing. So you can see that uh, in future these children will come back and remember their community and cherish and love it. <laughs>